29-year-old germaphobe Chaser lives in Cambridge. She's obsessed with hygiene and cleanliness. I love cleaning. I could do it, like, for eight, nine hours. The floor needs to be spotless. In total, retail manager Chaser spends four months of each year just cleaning. I love it to look perfect, polished, sparkling. The bathroom just bleach, gleaming, you know, I absolutely love that. I have been known to come home from a night out and home. <laughs> Chaser is so afraid of bacteria that she goes to extremes to ensure everything remains germ-free, including herself and her kids. I have been known to try something on, put it in the wash. And the girls will wear, like, new pyjamas every single night, like, without fail. My neighbours used to go, are you running a laundrette in there? Because I used to have so much clothes out all the time. Like many germaphobes, Chaser feels a compulsion to repeatedly wash her hands. I spent half my life washing my hands. In fact, Chaser washes her hands up to 60 times a day. When I leave the house, I wash my hands. When I get home, I wash my hands. Gonna wash your hands again. It is a pain in my life. I just can't help it. Chaser's obsession with germs began after a bout of serious illness. When I was pregnant, I caught meningitis, and I could have lost my child because of like bacteria or a virus. So I became especially clean after that. Chaser's going to take four days away from her perfectly clean and germ-free home to help someone she's never met before. I'm not going to enjoy going into a dirty house, but I love to clean and, you know, it would be nice to see a difference, I think, because sometimes when I clean my house, I can't really see much of a difference. Chaser's going to be helping 39-year-old nature-loving pagan Amanda, who lives alone in a two-bedroom flat in Oxfordshire. Her home hasn't had a proper clean in over 12 years. I know I have spiders because I have spider webs. I heard a bit of folklore about spiders protecting the house. If you leave the house and you, are, you can ask the spider to protect your house while you're away, um, which I thought was a lovely idea. Witchcraft enthusiast Amanda prefers studying nature to studying the state of her oven. I would rather get out and about than spend all day cleaning and tidying. Do I really have to show you my oven? It is supposed to be self-cleaning. Amanda grew up in a clean and totally clutter-free home. In the 12 years she's lived alone, she's accumulated a vast amount of belongings. I love nature and I love bringing nature in. I like to pick up a lucky stone or some uh, sticks and twigs. I could carve, I could make tent pegs or, or wands. But whilst Amanda's happy with her hoard, her friends and family certainly aren't. My sister told me that I live like a pig in. What is motivating me to have a clear out now is my friends. They make me feel really guilty. And a lot of them don't visit me, and I want them to. But as Chase has got a strong fear of germs, how will she cope with the state of Amanda's home? Home. Just like pop this. It. Yeah, put it on the end of the sofa. There. Lovely, thank you. This is obviously my living space. Wow, got a lot of stuff in here. I, yeah, I <laughs> do. That's the problem. <laughs> um, okay, this is well. It was an office. <laughs> it was a spare bedroom, and um, then out of everything, it became a place of storage. You've got, like, about 50 CDs over there. How on earth would you ever go to listen to that CD over there? Most of those CDs I had forgotten I have. So how long has this room been like this? Maybe three or four years. But I think if, if I'm not using the room, then I don't need to hoover. Wicked. Um, this is my bedroom. I just seem to collect clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Wow. <sighs> Say if you had to clean your bedroom, like today, what would you do? I would probably only clean what I could reach. 
see, if I had, oh. like, the tiniest bit of cobweb on my ceiling, I would actually be, like, just looking at it, be like, actually, I can't go to sleep. I have to go and get the hoover. OK, this is my kitchen. I don't think I'll be able to cook in your kitchen. Like, my oven is spotless. As soon as I use it, I'll clean it. Okay. Dishes will never be seen in my kitchen sink. Even, like even clean ones. And um, even clean ones. When I come home in the evening, it's about relaxing and putting my feet up. And washing and cleaning is a bit of a chore mm. for me. This is my bathroom. Okay. To me, bathrooms and kitchen is the most important yeah. rooms. Like, mm -hmm. how are you going to wash yourself yeah. or be cleaned if the room is not clean? That's true. Yeah. And also okay. putting things in your mouth when, you know, you're yeah. not got anything. You want it to be clean and hygienic. Yeah. Yeah? Wicked. She obviously does really need this. Like, one room is not livable at all. It's not usable. It needs to be sorted out. And if it's not... I think it could get a lot worse. In Oxfordshire, compulsive hand washer Chaser is on day one of the clean at Nature Worshipping Amanda's. We've got a skip. <laughs> it's not that big, it's not that scary. <laughs> it's not. We'll be fine. With four rooms to sort out, she's chosen to start the clean in the room she thinks is the easiest to tackle, the bathroom. I think that we could make a big difference in there. So you think we should do that first, then? That sound okay. like a plan? But before they can start cleaning, they need to clear out the hundreds of beauty products Amanda has accumulated. I thought I had a lot of products. <laughs> I'm allergic to dust, so I will be sneezing and things like that. Have some toilet paper. Do you see, like, all this stuff you're holding, how someone like me, it can affect? Imagine what it could be doing to you. I think I've developed an immunity to it, so I'm OK with it, which is why I'm <sighs> comfortable in the show I'm not making any changes. <coughs> I do find it surprising that somebody has such a reaction to the dust and the mould, etc. But that could be because she doesn't have it in her own life and she's not used to it. I just want to get it all done and cleaned, but I'm just finding it um, hard to breathe. Like, it's just so stuffy and so much dust. And I am allergic to dust, but I don't think I've ever been in an environment that has hit me so hard. Amanda asked for help to clean up her home because her friends aren't comfortable visiting her. Is there anything you'd rather be doing, Amanda? Anything but this. I'd rather be with my friends than clearing my house, which is my space, and I didn't mind it being like this. You didn't mind it? No. Well, if I minded, I'd have done something about it. So why did you ask for help? Because... Obviously, I need it. People are telling me that I can't look after myself. People are telling me but that I don't live in you a... mind. Well, no, because I would quite happily live like this. Um, I mean, in terms of dirt, obviously, I'm aware of, of clutter and needing to get rid of a lot of stuff. But I, I you know, I, it's my space. I don't mind a cobweb or a dirt or a. I mean... I'm doing this like for you, to help you, you know, to make this a better environment for you. But if you don't yeah. mind it, then well, it, it kind of makes me lose heart and makes me think, are you just going to let it go back? I don't know. I just don't think she can carry on like this. She obviously knows that she needed help because she asked for it. She obviously knows that it's gotten on top of her, but maybe she's a little bit defensive. So yeah, it does feel like, why are we doing this if it's just gonna go back? In Oxfordshire, germaphobe Chaser has taken four days away from her obsessively clean life to help wildlife lover Amanda. These 
Okay. It's day two of the clean, and progress is slow. Keep, sell, or throw. Keep. This. Keep. Keep. It's sort of the asking for more, and oh, can't we get rid of more and more and more? And I'm like, but yeah, be gentle with me. Why can't I keep these things? And, and it's almost the more people want me to get rid of them and clear out, the more I want to keep them. Does that fit you? No, but I plan to. Okay. Amanda, can I have a quick word? I feel that I'm not making any progress because I feel every little item I've got to be like, Amanda, can you keep this like half empty bottle of water? Do you know what I mean? Like, just give me some sort of instruction so then I can get on with things. Uh, it's up to you. No, like, no, I know exactly what you're saying. I'm just give me a moment to think. If you don't start being okay, don't want this, want this, don't want this, want this, yeah. we're not going to get Yeah, no, I understood, yeah. I don't know how we're going to do it. How can we make it livable when someone doesn't want to part with it? It's very, very difficult. It's the final day of the clean in Oxfordshire, and having met with resistance whilst trying to clean up the bathroom and kitchen, germ-phobic Chaser has moved on to Amanda's messy living room. Do you want to keep all the plants? I know it looks dead, but the ends are alive. So, I mean, if you can detangle it. Mm -hmm. I know you said you want to keep this chair, but we've just discovered... It doesn't have a seat. Yeah. Yes. Do you want to keep it? Yes. OK. And you said this plant can go? No, not that one. Oh. OK. These things are not going anywhere, OK? I want to keep these things, and I've already been through this room. OK. I don't think I'm doing anything, I can do anything, so it's not I a lot of thought, I thought you were going to clean the windowsill for me to put things on. I'm just getting really upset now, I'm really frustrated, because what is the point? I don't know, to clean someone, voluntarily help clean someone's house, and then they won't let me. At the end of the day, I've got a life, I've got children, I could be at home doing things, but I'm just standing here in a house that is not very clean and I don't feel comfortable in, and I'm not enjoying to help someone clean and sort out their life, but they won't let me. I feel really, really bad because I just feel that I haven't come in here and made as much of a difference that I wanted to. Like, I thought I was literally going to go into a house and clean it, blitz it, do what I do best, and I do think, like, I've been, like, compromising. I'm not doing... You, you haven't been able to do what you would feel yeah. instinctive to do. Yeah, yeah. But you've done as much as you can. We're two instinctively different people and we can't be yeah. the same person and we're too extreme yeah, that's to, 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 to flip yeah. over. If yeah. anything, we're going to find a middle ground. We're not, I'm not going to be on the more clean side. It's almost the end of the clean for germaphobe Chaser. So far, she's had a hard time persuading Eco Amanda to part with any of her belongings. Do you want to put that in the skip for me? This whole box? It'll make a nice sound when you chuck it in. Did you go through it? No. Because if I do, we'll be here a while and I'll be pulling things out. <laughs> Amanda's friend Colette has previously felt uncomfortable visiting the flat. Four days ago, the living room was dirty, cluttered and unloved and the dining table was invisible beneath mountains of rubbish. Hello. Come in. Oh, you're looking gorgeous. How are you doing? Wow. Are I've you I've never shocked? been able to walk to your table. This is fantastic. I feel like crying, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, you. Fifteen sacks of unused clothes have gone from the bedroom, revealing the floor and furniture. With 20 box loads removed from the spare room, it's possible to get inside for the first time in over three years. 
The bathroom is now a clean and clear space which Amanda can enjoy. And the kitchen is up to germaphobe chasers exacting standards. The surfaces are all done. And the washing up's done. I know. It's beautiful. You can invite us all round now. A taste for progress and hopefully you won't get to that stage again. I'm not going to get to that stage again. Cheers. Cheers. It's all been a bit mad and intense, but I like it. Thank you so much, honey. Thank you. I've had a lovely You're amazing. time. You're amazing. At times, I didn't think we were going to make it. I felt like I was hitting a brick wall, but we did it. She, she can use every single room of her house. She's got a house that a lot of people would consider normal. It may not be my ideal, but it's clean and it's livable. And for a person that does worry about cleanliness and germs, I think I did pretty good. Thank you.